Hi, I'm Roger Himes, the Gospel Life Coach. I'm here today with another coaching session on the power of God's love. This is number 11 in the series, The Gospel Empowers Us to Love God and to Love Others, as the Bible says. You know, so much is said today about love and the fact that loving God and loving others is the one supreme command of Jesus. As I said in the opening message, so much of the co uh, concept of love is born out of the law, and it initiates in us, that we're told, or what the Bible refers to as our flesh. Jesus is quoted as saying that we must love God with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength, and we must love others as ourselves. Now, as we saw, Jesus was merely quoting from the law, which the lawyer had asked him a trick question about. Jesus was not giving us the new covenant gospel truth. Love is stated to be the one supreme command of Jesus, as I said, but is love the only command of Jesus, as so many say? I don't think so. You know, after 40 days in the wilderness with Satan, we're simply told that Jesus began preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God, and the very first words out of his mouth were, The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe the gospel. Now, although it's short, this can be said to be his very first sermon. We're told, as a, as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. Proverbs 23, 7. You know, we've got to believe the gospel. That's where everything starts. Now, this is not labeled as a command, as the new commandment to, of to love is in John 13 and John 15. But it's very definitely a command repenting of all other things that we think and believe, and believe in the gospel only, is indeed a command from Jesus. What we think and believe in our hearts controls everything we do in life. It's said that we cannot consistently behave on the outside uh, the way it, it, that is different from the way we believe on the inside. We saw that last time. This is the meaning of this passage in Proverbs. As a man thinks in his heart, so is he. Now, we're indeed inside-out creations, we are, and we control our outsides by means of our insides. Thus, believing and living the gospel is paramount. It even controls love. You see, the gospel is a, is a type of, of belief system that really propels us to love God and love other people and to live in the grace of God. It's a type of dynamic, synergistic, centrifugal force in us that comes out of us from the inside. Gospel belief and loving the, each other and loving God work in harmony together, each empowering the other. The gospel is all about the truth and the grace of God. This is given to us because of God's eternal, incomprehensible love for us. So when we receive love, truth and grace, this is what comes out of us. We'll look at this more closely and how the gospel works so powerfully in us a little bit later when we look at the parable of the sower and other passages that, that we'll be, we have a coaching session on. But suffice it to say that here, the gospel belief is what empowers us to love. And then loving causes us to have more gospel belief, which produces more love. It's just kind of an endless cycle. Too often, we trust those 10,000 instructors in Christ or preachers that Paul talks about in 1 Corinthians 4. We hear them talking about us just loving God and loving others, and we feel this must be true. Just grit your teeth and bear it and go for it. Love everybody. This is not what the scripture says. This is not the truth of the gospel. This is the nature of living by law and by the flesh. And as we saw earlier, uh, the Bible tells us nobody was ever successful in living by the flesh. Only Jesus fulfilled the law. Only he lived by the law. Nobody else has been successful at it. The fact is that we must trust, we try to trust man more than we do God. First of all, you know, we don't see God, but we see each other. We see man, so we tend to trust each other even more than we trust God. This shouldn't be. But second, all human beings think like human beings. After all, we are human, aren't we? And God's thoughts are not human thoughts. But they're far above our thoughts. That's what Isaiah says. But this is why God gave us the gospel, 
so we could think his thoughts inside of us and then reproduce what we think outside of us. The gospel has given us to straighten out our thinking, which is what Paul means when he says it transforms our minds. Without the gospel, we can't think God's thoughts. We only think human thoughts. We most often call this theology, which is what man thinks. It's the wisdom of man. But when we truly begin relentlessly trusting God in all things, then we truly begin to believe the gospel and allow it to empower us. It is the power of God. And this is why Paul says we must learn to live it. So, everything begins with gospel belief. Belief in the gospel is where Jesus began his earthly ministry. And it's where we should begin each and every day that we live, too. Now, in the next coursing session, I'll show you something about love that our Abba Father has been showing me. It deals with how the gospel makes us all equal. And as we allow it to do so, it makes loving God and loving other people really a lot easier. Hey, I'm Roger Himes, the Gospel Coach, and I want to thank you for listening.